Yo guys, what's going on? It's Ollie back again with another Rocket League video, but today is a little different. Today's kind of special. I'm gonna reveal my tattoo to you, but I'm not gonna reveal it until the end of the video, so you have to watch the whole thing. Um, if you really want to see, you just gotta stick around and listen to listen to the story. I'm pretty much just gonna um, explain my experience with it and how everything went, like the the whole shenanigans, you know, everything. And let me tell you, it's kind of interesting. It's not it's not not boring. <laughs> um, anyway, let's let's start from the beginning. I'm just gonna drop into a drop into a drop shot match. <laughs> Um, so, I made that video yesterday, right before I left for my appointment, right? So after I finished recording, I went upstairs and I was talking to my parents and my sister before I left, and, um, my sister was like, oh, shit, that's, that's my team. <laughs> See, that's a problem when they just drop you in. Anyway, I was upstairs talking to my parents and my sister, and... My sister was like, oh, you're going today? I was like, yeah, I mean, better. today is just as good a day as any other, right? And she was like, you know, I heard some people throw up because of the pain. And I was like, oh, good, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that, that was reassuring, because like I said, I was already really nervous about it, you know? Like... This is a whole new experience for me that I had never even thought about. Like, it, it was, I, like, thank you. That, that was really helpful, <laughs> my sister. <laughs> but, and then my parents were like, yeah, you know, if you cry, make sure your girlfriend gets it on tape. I was like, uh, I don't think I'm going to cry, but don't worry, I'll make sure she does, you know. Because I'm sure you guys would love to see that. But, um... Anyway. I go... I get my car to go pick up my girlfriend. Because she lives closer to the, sh the tattoo place than I did. And, um... I went to pick her up. And her mom was like... My girlfriend's mom. She was like... Are you really letting her influence you into getting a tattoo? I was like, you know, this is my decision. Like, yes, she has tattoos, but oh my god. It was super awkward. Her mom her mom is a wonderful woman. She's very, very kind and sweet. But I just thought it was funny because my girlfriend has uh, four tattoos, actually. Um, I wouldn't say she influenced me to get it, but it... I mean helped move the process along I was like you know what I'm just just gonna do it you know but so we get to the tattoo place and my appointment was at six I guess they were running a little behind schedule there were a ton of people in there and um, it was super hot and like stuffy kind of and don't get me wrong like it was a nice par uh, like parlor you know it wasn't like a sketchy little like like little dump place um but it was super hot and stuffy like i felt a little suffocated i don't know if that was just like the anxiety or like the nerves or anything but um it, it definitely got to me a little bit uh, so after that it was probably like 30 40 minutes of us just sitting in the lobby with all these random people eventually the the lady sitting behind the counter that like takes money and sets up appointments and everything she calls me over she's like all right like are you ready to pay and I, I like gave her the money and she was like uh have you ever gotten a tattoo on your ribs before i was like no actually this is my my first tattoo and she goes oh i'm so sorry and i was like uh why <laughs> so apparently ribs are um the most painful place to get a tattoo according to her and like all the other people <laughs> that were sitting in the lobby heard heard her and me talking and they were all like oh man like you're so brave and i was like really like is it really that that bad so on top of everything that made me even more nervous you know like as it would and 
Um, so, after another, like, probably 15 minutes of waiting in the lobby for my artist to, like, get everything set up and come get me, he comes out into the lobby, and he... He's like, all right, man, um, I'm ready for you. Come on back whenever you're ready. And I was like, all right, cool. So he takes me and my girlfriend back into like his little room, but we didn't quite get there. Literally, as we were standing in the doorway to his little like cubicle room workstation thing, you know, where he does his tattoos, you know, um, the power goes out. Literally, it's like pitch black. Like, you can't see anything. Um, and then everyone starts yelling, like, Hey, like, get a headlamp, and, like, I'm still working, and, like, everyone was, like, like, all the artists, like, thought it was hilarious. I was like, oh, God, I, <laughs> what if this happens, like, when I'm getting my tattoo? Like, what if, like, uh, just so many things were going through my mind at that time. Like, I didn't know what... I didn't know what to expect anymore, like, everything was already, like, crazy to me. We had to go back into the lobby, and of course the air conditioning turned off. So it was even more hot and stuffy. So we went outside, as did everyone else, like, all the artists went out and smoked a cig, and everyone was just kind of chilling outside. And so, my friend, my buddy, got off from work to come like see me and we just sat in the car and played um cards against humanity there's like an app called evil apples or something on the phones now that you can play it's just like cards against humanity it's it's really fun actually but um we play a game of that and we go and decide to talk to some of the artists and the guy was like yeah i mean if i had like a headlamp and my my uh my gun worked I'd be back there right now tattooing someone and I was like oh and he was like you know when I used to work back in uh, New York um, the same kind of thing happened and I was like oh yeah well, like what what happened specifically and he was like well you know it was like a power surge kind of thing um, it was really hot out so like all the electricity went out for some reason. I was like, oh, well, that's not that bad. How long did it take before it came back on? And he was like, oh, not that long. Only like four hours. But the guy that I was tattooing at the time was in a rush. I was like, oh, okay, well, then what happened? And he goes, we hooked up my gun to a car battery and we finished within 45 minutes. I was like, all right, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I, we are not doing that. I did not want anything to do with a car battery and a tattoo. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. But, anyway, I go back. The power turns back on. Finally. Eventually. And... I get pulled back in the room and he's t like getting me all situated like what position I'm supposed to be in which for the record was super uncomfortable like he had me first I mean I had to take my shirt off because my tattoo was on my ribs right which I mean I'm fine with that like I don't care but the problem that I had was I had to like lie on my side the whole time like completely outstretched and my arm had to be like leaning over like across my face pretty much like over my head and my arm the entire time the, okay my tattoo took three and a half hours all right three and a half hours and my arm was laying like that above my head across my face for all that time and trust me it gets to be a lot like i couldn't even feel my arm i was like all right hey man can i like stretch my arm real quick and he was like, yeah, yeah, take your time, like, do what you need to do. Um, so I, I tried to grab my arm, and it was the weirdest feeling. It was like my arm was dead, alright? I went to grab my arm, and nothing, like, it just flopped over. Like, <laughs> I had no control over it. It felt, like, super heavy, and 
it was all tingly i think it just went to sleep or something but it, it was a weird weird feeling halfway through the tattoo and i like <laughs> he started down like more towards my stomach area where it wasn't gonna hurt as bad just to get me used to it i think but once he got up to like where it was just like raw bone oh my god like call me a bitch all you want but like that hurt all right they're like oh it's just like a small pinch and i guess it was it was just like a small pinch but the thing with tattoos especially like that is that it's constant pain it's not just like oh here's a quick pinch like you're getting a shot it's consistent it's consistent i don't know why i said that twice but it's consistent <laughs> He finishes, right? We're, we're done with the tattoo, and I'm like, thank god. Like, that was probably one of the worst but best experiences of my life. Like, I wouldn't have traded that for anything. Like, it was such a different and new thing to me that I think I was just like hyping it up for myself like it, I was just getting kind of like paranoid about it I guess you could say we finished he's giving me the rundown on how to take care of it and in my head while he's telling me all this stuff I'm like oh my god there's so many things that could go wrong like he could get infected and like bacteria and all this crap like ink poisoning and I know like it's not gonna happen if I'm not stupid about it you know like I just take care of it but I don't know, part of me was just like, geez, like, this thing is for real. And um, the tattoo was done, and I was super happy with it. Like, he did an amazing, amazing job. I was very, very pleased with the work he did. I'll put the picture up now. Um, I'm just gonna explain what my tattoo is. I know a lot of you might not, like, get it, I guess, but it's pretty much a Taurus. It's my zodiac sign, you know? I've looked up what, like, a Taurus, like, person, like, is, in quotation marks, you know? Um, and I feel like it actually embodies me quite a bit. Like, it, it represents who I am very well. Which, I mean, I guess all those horoscope things are supposed to. That's how they make their money, <laughs> you know? But, I don't know, I, I guess I bought into it. <laughs> I guess I bought into it. And I, the little Pisces, the, in the middle, like in the middle of the body, I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, but it's supposed to look like two fish swimming opposite directions. That's the Pisces zodiac sign, which is like the counterpart to um, the Taurus. So they're like collaborative, like the collaborative, I don't know what the word is, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. That is also, that's my dad's sign, so that's why I wanted to put that in there. And then um, the hunch on the left side, on its back, I think that's supposed to be the uh, Chinese symbol for strength. I absolutely adore this tattoo, and uh, I'd be lying to you if. I said I was wearing a shirt right now because I'm not I'm recording without a shirt because I keep looking down at it because I, I love looking at it so it's so dope guys um, anyway yeah that's a <laughs> sorry that was kind of a long a long one I just got really excited about it I I love it um, if any of you guys are thinking about getting tattoos just know that like it's definitely an experience um, definitely like gets your adrenaline going if you're one of those adrenaline junkies you know like it's it'll definitely it'll definitely get that going for you but um I, I wouldn't have traded the experience for anything I think it was amazing um had a great time like great great people involved and overall just I I'd give it all the whole experience a thumbs up
thank you guys for being so uh, patient with me while I explained all this. I don't know if I even explained it right. I was just kind of like throwing things out there as it came in my head throughout the day. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, if you liked my tattoo, give this video a thumbs up. Again, comment down below what you had, like what tattoos you have, what tattoos you've been thinking about getting, if you want one, if you think they're dumb, like anything. Just let me know your thoughts on it and uh, let's have just a little conversation in the comments. Alright? Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next Rocket League video. Alright, see you guys.